some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Willamette, Connecticut, where we find a frauditor who wants to talk to a suspect who's being interrogated by the police, but they, of course, will not allow him to do this, and he starts throwing a temper tantrum. Oh, joy, what else is new? So, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Out in the fine town of Willimannock again today. Seeing what's going on. One of their officers wanted to come in nice and hot last night and scream at me for absolutely nothing, so let's see how they do today. Thought he could make up rules of where citizens can stand. You know, I recall when I was in the fire department, and the following bit of wisdom should also apply here. There's a rule of thumb when it comes to issues like this. If you stick your thumb all the way out, and you can't cover the scene with your entire thumb, you're too damn close. I mean, there can be anything that's going on here, and you're risking your life for nothing. Don't let him search ya. Tell him to kick rocks. Hey, we're not talking it doesn't matter if you're talking to me. I can say whatever I want over here. Good try, though. I said I can say whatever I want. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm not, I can get involved with whatever I want. Yeah, right. I can do whatever I want on this side. Yeah, I absolutely can. can. Film. I can film. I can. I can talk. I can talk. I can talk. I can say whatever I want on this no, side. Look, I can. You gonna arrest me over it? You can't get arrested. Are you gonna for breach? are you for breach for telling somebody I can't you did can't not let you search them? Enough. Listen, you it's not yelling. Earlier. I was fine with it. It's okay. I, it doesn't matter. I can say whatever I want here. You see, this is what happens when you spoil your children. You don't set boundaries. You don't discipline them. They turn into piles of crap like this guy. No, I can, can tell him. I absolutely can. You want to arrest me and we can take it to court you and find be, out? You Do you want to go to court him. and find out? I wasn't yelling at anybody. I said, don't let them search you. That's not yelling at anybody. That's a general statement. Not really. When you tried to tell me to stop filming in the uh, Jilson because there was kids around. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. When you were filming the kids. No, yes. I wasn't filming was kids. Weird. I was filming the corrupt police chief that wasn't following okay. the laws driving the road. And that's why after you explained that to me, you were like, okay, it's fine. It doesn't, and it, well, no, it doesn't matter if it's fine or not. You can't stop me. So it doesn't matter if you're okay. Listen, listen, listen I'm going to say whatever I want. Hey, don't let him search you. Don't do it. I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to do whatever I want. And then do whatever you have to do. I'm going to do what I want and what I can. I'm not yelling. I'm not yelling. No, yelling would be screaming at the top of my lungs. You know, your mouth is writing checks that your body can't cash. But Bubba will definitely cover you on the money front, but he's going to require some favors in return, and he's waiting over there for you in the pokey, if you know what I mean. Telling oh, somebody not, not to let you search it. them? That's it. fine. I'm going to do what I want. I'm, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to do what I want. If you do it again, we have to arrest you for Okay. You okay. Don't let him search you, bud. Don't do it. Stop. Are you serious, dude? I'm dead serious. You're going to find out. Do you have anything on you that can stick to talk Do what you got to do. No. I'm not going to answer any questions. It Take it. Do whatever you got to do. Well, then... Alright, we're going to put it on top of the car. This is sad. A little longer than a few minutes later. Oh, you saved the coffee. I was wondering about that. It was brand new. I appreciate that.
Thank you. That's how you get arrested in Willamette, Connecticut, guys. I don't understand the desire of these frauditors to ruin their lives continuously by building up a history of arrests. I mean, it's not going to help your life later on down the line, especially when you're looking for gainful employment later on in your life.